Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is the U7 Pro by Ubiquiti Networks. That's right. Ubiquiti's first Wi-Fi 7 access point. So it's 2024. The standard should be ratified here shortly. And I can't imagine that anything hardware wise is going to change. So these manufacturers will probably be able to tweak any changes with the standard in software is is a pretty good assumption, I think. If you know otherwise, let me know down in the comments. So what do you get in the box? All right, so you get a mounting template, and this is, the, it's got, there it is. It's got the, uh, the level on it. It's got the hole right there for the ethernet cable. It's got all of the, the different options. You get what we used to tease as the paint can lid, but this is the universal mounting bracket for the new APs. You get the, I don't even know what you call this, but I always just call it like the top part of the of the cookie or the sandwich because this is what you put above the ceiling tiles. And then you get a whole host of other uh, bits and bobs to mount this to the wall. Oh, uh, yeah, the other thing that you get is the access point. So this, this is the AP, and I'm going to show you what it looks like next to a U6 Enterprise. So it's slightly smaller. Um, so that that is the U6 Enterprise there. You can see that the 7 is slightly smaller. Uh, it's about the same, the same weight, but um, the back here is metal. It has a 2.5 gig Ethernet port, PoE Plus port, and then you've got your reset button over there. So I'm really excited about new technology, obviously. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this plugged in. We're going to get it adopted and we're going to talk a little bit more about it. So stay tuned. I've got to go plug this in. I'll be right back. So while we're waiting for that to boot up so we can adopt it, I um, do have a Pixel 8 phone, and this is Wi-Fi 7 capable. So we're going to do some speed tests after we get this adopted and we, we change some of the channels. The other thing to note is the MSRP on the U7 Pro is going to be $189 USD. So let's uh, see if this thing is ready to adopt. Okay, so we can see that the U7 Pro is here and is ready for adoption. So we're going to go ahead and adopt that in. And once that's done, we will check it out and then we'll change some settings. And then we'll do some speed tests and we'll talk a little bit more about some of the changes that will be coming even to the U7 Pro here shortly. Okay, so our U7 Pro is adopted. You can see it's on a USXG6 PoE. It's on port one. I've been experimenting with the U7 on different switches. So it will work best with any Ubiquiti switch that has a 2.5 gig uh, port with, you know, PoE plus, PoE plus plus. So you could use, you know, the, the Pro Max line of switches, the Enterprise switches, anything that has that 2.5 gig. Um, and obviously the compatibility and it's going to work best with Ubiquiti switches. So let's take a look at the U7 Pro. We can see here that we've got three sets of, of, um, of radios, right? And they're all two by two. We've got our 2.4 gigahertz, our five gigahertz, and our six gigahertz. Now, Wi-Fi 6E devices can also connect to the U7 Pro. So same options that we get, you know, with every other Ubiquiti access point. You can go into the... Um, says my U7 Pro is offline, but it is, well, that, that was uh, history there. But uh, you can see where we're at on our channel usage. So six gigahertz is 1% utilized with no interference. And you can see the 2.7 and the five gigahertz there. So um, you can come in here and do a, a 2.4 or five gigahertz channel scan. You know, I love 
the the visualization of this. I really, really like it because um, when we teach people how to properly design Wi-Fi, we can come in here and show them the non-overlapping channels and things like that. And then under settings, let's see here. We can change the name. So I am going to do everything on this. I'm going to leave the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5. I'm actually probably going to disable those. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on 320 megahertz channels and we'll do we'll do uh, medium power on that because we'll actually go into the room where the access point is when we do the um, when we do the speed test and I'm going to leave the channel at auto. We've got band steering. Like I said, we've got all of those same options. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead real quick and I'm going to set up an SSID that is just for that six gigahertz. So, okay, just to make sure that I didn't miss it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recap uh, what I did for the U7 Pro for that. So I created the SSID Wi-Fi 7. It's only broadcasting on the U7 Pro. It's only six gigahertz. And on the U7 Pro, I am running the six gigahertz on a 320 megahertz channel. All right, so back over here to the speed test. This is hosted on a server, obviously, here. I'm going to go ahead and start this. This is from my desktop, which is wired in at a gigabit. I got all kinds of other things going on. I'm actually, I've got some Wi-Fi things plugged into this switch. I've got my PC, plus I'm recording, right? So this speed test is probably going to be just a little bit, a little bit off since I'm recording with this PC. But you can see from this PC, one uh, that is wired one gigabit through three switches to the to the server. We got 707 meg down, 914 meg up. So as soon as this access point is ready to rock and roll, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our Pixel 8 and we're going to run from some speed tests from there. So hang tight. And our U7 Pro is ready. So let's go do some speed tests. Okay, so here we are on the Pixel 8, and I am uh, probably, I don't know, three, four way, uh, feet away from the AP. So we're going to go ahead, and I am connected to that Wi-Fi 7, so we'll see what kind of stuff we get going on here. So you can see we're over, you know, we're peaking over 1,200 on our download, our upload. Probably going to be even better, yeah, because... We've got a lot of download going on. So you can see how fast this is. And uh, when we get back to the computer, I've got one other thing that's even more exciting than that. All right, so I'm about <clears throat> 30 feet away from the access point now and two walls, two standard drywalls in between us. I did bump the power output to high. So let's see what we've got though. Remember this is a 25 to 30 feet and two walls. So the download is looking pretty good. And let's see where we come in at the upload. Uploads. So the upload is obviously more dependent on the phone. Um, but yeah, so we can see that speed test. I'm actually really happy with that. All right, so now that we've done those speed tests, let's talk a little bit more about Wi-Fi 7 and some of the exciting things of Wi-Fi 7. So in Wi-Fi 7, one of the newest features is called MLO or multi-link operation. And what that does is it allows your Wi-Fi 7 devices to be able to talk on different frequencies at the same time. So we could talk on the six gigahertz, the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz all at the same time. So now you're going to be able to combine all of those frequencies for speed, reliability, throughput, all those kinds of things. So that is a game changer. Now, as of the filming of this video, that is not available yet with the U7 Pro. It is going to be available uh, in around February in a new version of the controller that is coming. So look forward to that. Uh, I don't know if other manufacturers have implemented it yet or not, 
but that is one of those big changes with Wi-Fi 7, the ability to talk on all those spectrums at the same time. And so, like I said, February, around February, you can't hold this to me. I, I'm not responsible for Ubiquiti's release schedule, but it'll be network 8.1. Right now we're at 8.0.24, 8.0.27, somewhere in there. So when 8.1 comes out, you should uh, have that multi-link operation MLO. So we will come back and do more speed tests once we have that. If you've got any questions about the U7 Pro, uh, the pricing we talked about, um, the availability, if you're seeing this video, it should have been released, and I'll leave an affiliate link to the store down below. Wi-Fi 7 is just, I remember when Wi-Fi 6 came out, everybody was like, oh, Wi-Fi 6. And I was probably in that camp too. We did a video early, or uh, it was earlier in 2023 about Wi-Fi 7 and about how some of those manufacturers that were out there, <clears throat> they just keep blanketing, you know, the market with these Wi-Fi 7 devices when we don't have any, uh, you know, necessarily any end devices that can take advantage of the technology, but those are now going to be rapidly coming. So it will be up to you really when you're designing networks in 2024 and beyond, are you going to stay with Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi 7? Where are you going to be at? I still see a lot of use cases for Wi-Fi 5 and before. Now, not all the way down to 802.11b, although I'm sure there are warehouses full of those chips laying around the world somewhere. But, uh, you know, it, it's something that is, it's here. It's 2024. The standard will be ratified shortly. So think about it. If you've got questions about this particular AP, let me know down in the comments. If uh, there's something you want to know about Wi-Fi 7 and this P AP in particular, in particular that I didn't cover, let me know. I'll answer all the questions that I can down below. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links and a Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Wi-Fi 7 is here. Not officially ratified, but more and more vendors are going to be dropping these devices, so at some point you're going to come across it. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.